formatting paragraphs within text boxes. We already examined the ways in which you can format and align your text, but let's now look at the paragraph level formatting options. Unlike character level formatting, most of the paragraph formatting options can only be found on the Home tab in the Paragraph group, which is this group here. The types of lists you can create are really simple and easy to remember. Bulleted lists have bullet points and numbered lists have numbers. We're going to learn how to create both. If you want to create a list within an existing text, select the text within a text box that you want to use to make a list. In this example, we'll select the text here that we want to use to turn into a list. Next, click on the Home tab in the ribbon, and then go to the Paragraph section. Select either the bulleted or numbered list button, whichever you need. You'll notice that the first button here is for the bulleted list, and the second button is for the numbered list. We'll choose bullets. Click on the drop down arrow here, and then choose a bullet style from the drop down menu. The bullets are then added to your list in the text box. When creating a new list, first, put the cursor in the publication where you want to create the list. Click either the bulleted or numbered list button. In this case, we'll try a numbered list. Then start to type. As with all word processing programs, you can either left, right, center or justify your text and paragraphs. You can either do one of these things to a portion of text or to the entire publication. Now I've just created this text box here. It reads the following text selected from this lesson is justified so that it is aligned between the left and the right margins, adding space between letters if necessary. It gives the publication a clean look. The buttons or commands for aligning the text are located under the Home tab in the Paragraph group. From left to right, they are Left Align, Center Align, Right Align and Justify. To use these, simply select a method of formatting as we described earlier and click the appropriate button. Left, Center, Right and Justify. When you change the line spacing, you change the space that appears between every line of text in a paragraph. Publisher adds the space below each line. To set line spacing, go to the Home tab and then to the Paragraph group. Click on this button here that's called Line Spacing. You'll then see line spacing values. 2.0 represents double space. 1.0 represents single space. If you don't see the spacing you want, click Line Spacing Options. Go to the line spacing section and specify the space you want to put between lines in the Between Lines field. If you want to start a new paragraph within a text box, you just press the Enter key on your keyboard. As we've done here. But what if you want to add more space between paragraphs? Of course, you can push the Enter key more than once, yet why bother when you can also set spacing between paragraphs? To add space after a paragraph, select your text and then click on this button here, Paragraph Spacing within the Paragraph group. Select your spacing from the drop down menu. If you want to customise the spacing, click Paragraph Spacing Options. Go to the Line Spacing section and set the amount of space you want in the before paragraphs and after paragraphs fields. You can indent paragraphs inside text boxes using these two buttons here in the paragraph group under the Home tab. The button on the left decreases the indentation of the paragraph, and the button on the right increases the indent position. Tabs are not quite the same as indents. You probably remember setting the tab stops on your typewriter then using the tab key to do everything from indenting the first sentence of a paragraph to creating bullet points or numbered lists. Those days are long gone. The truth is, you could use a word processor for years without ever using the tab key. You don't really need it anymore. The word processor automatically indents the first sentence and the bullet list and numbered list buttons allow you to easily indent those. If you do need to set tabs, go to the Home tab, 
Then click the arrow in the lower right hand corner of the paragraph group to launch the paragraph settings window. You'll then see this dialog box. Click on the tabs tab. Type a value into the default tab stops field, then click OK. Then in the text box here, when you press tab, you'll be indented to the number that you've entered. Styles are simply character and paragraph attributes that you can easily apply to your text. We encourage anyone working with electronic text to use styles. They usually work across different platforms and make it easy to create things like tables of contents. What's more, you can change the attributes of a style and every block of text that was applied to it will automatically adjust to reflect those changes. Styles can be created for headlines, subheadlines, body text, sample text, accent text and more. To apply a style to any text, select your text, go to the Home tab and locate the Styles button. It looks like this here. Click on it to see the available styles, or you can create your own. As you can see here, Publisher comes with a bunch of predefined style sets. If you're not satisfied with those styles, you can import them from another program, such as Microsoft Word, or you can create a new one. When you click New Style, you'll see a window like this. Here you can enter a name for the new style, select the font, character spacing, paragraph format and more. Click OK when you're finished. To modify any style, you can click the Style button, then right click on any of the styles, and then select Modify. You can then enter and select your new values and then click OK.